Hey there, how's it going? It's been a week for me. I'm going to give a quick update because it may affect future uploads. I don't really know yet. But if you just want to see the Monkeys with Guns content, please jump to the timestamp on the screen. Okay, so I was informed that I have been indefinitely furloughed at my job, which is basically the same thing as being let go, as I will no longer receive a paycheck. And unfortunately, my wife had the same thing happen to her last week. I know there are thousands, if not millions of others in the same boat, so this isn't a cry for pity or anything. But it does mean that I have no idea what will actually be happening over the next few weeks. I had been at my job for the last eight years, which means my resume and portfolio are really out of date. So the first thing I need to do is get those together and do the whole unemployment thing. After that, I really don't know at this point. Everywhere is pretty much on a hiring freeze at the moment, so I may have more time to make videos or I may not. I might try streaming, I really don't know honestly right now. Again, I know this is happening to so many people. If you're in the same boat, hang in there and I hope the best for you. I'm going to do everything I can right now to fight this overwhelming urge to just give up, and I know you can too. Let's all hang in there and make it through this. On a happier note, I finally finished and released the devlog for the Ultimate Game Jam that I've been mentioning here for the last few weeks. It's had a tremendous response. Thank you so much if you've seen it, and if you haven't, there's a card thingy up top if you want to. I also just passed 7,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is just insane. I really hope that you're all healthy and safe, and again, thank you so much. Okay, let's get to what you're here for. Monkeys with Guns is a complete mess right now. Most of the systems I built out in the last rewrite were set up to work the way they do and really no other way. Which means that to make the game do what I laid out in the design doc, there's some major overhauls that need to be made. Plus, I've learned so much more and I'm seeing much better ways to do things. With the project code in shambles, I took time to do something that will make a lot of people pretty happy, I think. I took a small first step to start figuring out CPU opponents. I haven't made much progress and I haven't looked up any tutorials or anything yet. I wanted to see what decisions I would make on my own first, to really let it sink in so I would know what I need in terms of resources moving forward. So this is my first attempt. I can click with the mouse which places a node on the screen. When the node is on the screen, the CPU's player state will change from idle to chase. When in the chase state, it will move towards the node, unless the node is over half a screen length away, in which case it will go the opposite direction. When moving in the opposite direction, it will eventually hit the edge of the screen and screen wrap. When it does, the node is no longer over half a screen away, so it moves directly towards it. I currently have it set up so that when the CPU player reaches the node, it destroys the node and the player just returns to the idle state. I made it so that if it hits an obstacle or reaches a gap, it will jump. After the first jump, when it begins to fall, it will do another check on the node's Y position. If the node's Y position is above the player's, then the player will use its double jump to jump again. This all works to a point. If I just showed you this footage, it all looks great, right? Everything working and ready to go. Well, as you can see, it still doesn't navigate super well if the node is not directly accessible. My plan right now is to add another state that triggers when the chase state is stuck like this. Maybe using raycasts or proper pathfinding, I don't really know yet. My thinking is the chase state is fairly lightweight in terms of code, and if I can keep it that way as much as possible, I assume that will be better. But I'm very new to all this, so I'm sure the reality will be totally different than what I think it is now. And my initial thought with using a node is that in-game, I can use triggers to set the node's positions based on need. Say the CPU player is at low health. Then the node needs to be set to the nearest health pickup. If the CPU player is shot by another opponent, then I can set the node to follow the player that did the shooting. Again, this is all just me trying it out for myself first without really knowing anything. I tend to learn better when I can test out the ideas in my head first, because it really helps to show me where my blind spots are. That way when I do look up how to do things, I really know what I'm looking for. That's also the reason that I have this all set up in a separate test project, so I can have the freedom to mess around with it as much as I want without any consequences. I've already had several people share resources with me for writing and developing AI, and I'll be diving into all of those once I finish this up, and I do really appreciate it. But I'll also put out the call to anyone else, if you know of any good resources for writing AI, just the base understanding of it, not particularly for a specific engine, especially if it handles screen wrapping. So if you know of any of that, please send it my way. With everything that's happened this week, this is all I was really able to get done that's worth showing. I did spend some time on basic structure for the core game as well, but again, not interesting and not working yet. So that's what I have for you on Monkeys With Guns this week. I don't know what everything's gonna look like moving forward. I'll do everything I can to keep these Monday devlogs coming at least. I mean, I guess with the craziness that's happening and the social distancing, making a local multiplayer game that's meant to bring people together is not really what the world needs right now anyway. So I guess that means it's a pretty good time to be refactoring code right now. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. And I hope you are all safe, healthy, and staying home if you can. 
If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below, message me on Twitter, or join the Discord. The links are all in the description. You can get the beta for Monkeys with Guns or play any of my other games at vimlark.itch.io. If you enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will talk with you next time. Have a good one. Later.